Home Remedies presents Woman destroyed her kidneys in 30 days by taking this popular vitamin. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. That means it can dissolve in fats and oils. It's needed for bone growth and development. It also helps cell growth and nerve, muscle and immune function. Vitamin D is called the sunshine vitamin. This is because vitamin D is made by the body in response to sun exposure. Because it's stored by the body, taking too much vitamin D can cause high levels to build up. This can cause health problems. Uses of vitamin D. Vitamin D helps control calcium balance in the body. It maintains normal calcium levels and bone density. Vitamin D you get from the sun or in your diet increases the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from your intestines. It also aids in the reabsorption of phosphorus from the kidneys. Unfortunately, this vitamin D trend isn't all blue skies. Some people are overdoing it with supplements. The researchers looking at national survey data gathered between 1999 and 2014 found a 2.8% uptick in the number of people taking potentially unsafe amounts of vitamin D that is more than 4000 international units per day what happens if you do not have enough vitamin D if you do not have enough vitamin D your body doesn't absorb calcium in food if the body does not absorb calcium from food bones become a source of calcium The body is always seeking the level it needs and takes calcium where it can get it. The result: loss of calcium from bone. The average healthy person loses about 500 mg of calcium every day from bones and replaces it with the same amount of new calcium. When someone is vitamin D deficient, calcium is not replaced adequately, which leads to weak and fragile bones. recommended intake for people over age 70 the daily recommendation is 800 iu for people below age 70 it's 600 iu these recommendations meet the bone health needs for most people in most situations taking more than 4000 units per day is not recommended adults can meet the rda for vitamin d without supplements You can do this by exposing your face, hands, arms or back without sunscreen to the sun for 10 to 15 minutes at least 2 times a week. When taking vitamin D supplements, don't use magnesium, phosphorus or calcium unless your healthcare provider says to. Because vitamin D is fat soluble, it is best to take vitamin D supplements with food that has some fat in it for enhanced absorption side effects toxicity and interactions vitamin d toxicity is usually caused by large doses of vitamin d supplements not by diet or sun exposure that's because your body regulates the amount of vitamin d produced by sun exposure and even fortified foods don't contain large amounts of vitamin d the main consequence of vitamin d toxicity is a build up of calcium in your blood hypercalcemia which can cause nausea and vomiting weakness and frequent urination vitamin d toxicity might progress to bone pain and kidney problems such as the formation of calcium stones which may lead to kidney damage and impairment of kidney function additionally vitamin d toxicity can result in kidney failure in severe cases vitamin d in large amounts is toxic symptoms in children and adults often occur after several months of heavy use they include constipation decreased muscle tone hypotonia joint pain irritability being thirstier than normal making more urine than normal loss of appetite vomiting high blood pressure hypertension too much vitamin d can also damage the valves in the heart and the kidneys this is due to calcium building up in these organs you should not take vitamin d if you have any of these too much calcium in the blood hypercalcemia signs of vitamin d toxicity 
hypervitaminosis D, increased sensitivity to the effects of vitamin D, lowered kidney function. According to the latest report from APC, there were 11,718 cases of vitamin D exposure. More than half of these cases were in children younger than 5 years. The vast majority of cases were from unintentional exposures. The total number of vitamin D toxicity cases was greater than the total number of vitamin, vitamins B, A, C, and E toxicity cases combined. This illustrates the widespread use of vitamin D supplements. The woman in the case had been taking 60,000 international units a day of vitamin D for several months which resulted to cause toxicity. This level is 100 times higher than the US recommended dietary allowance for most adults that is 600 IU of vitamin D a day. If you like the video, hit that like button to give it more value and share it on your social networks to let others benefit from it too. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.